Hello and welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm your host, Nick Vole. As part of a comprehensive plan to offer career-based electives, every high school in Vancouver Public Schools offers video production classes. Students learn the techniques of filmmaking, television news, and video production. While they complete their films or news stories, students are learning how to write and communicate, how to work with a team, and how to manage complex projects. We're coming to you from Fort Vancouver High School in the same studio where they do their morning announcements. It's also the home to their filmmaking classes. So the first movie we're going to see comes from Fort students. It's called The Hallway. All right, I'm here with Jaquan, Luke, and Preston, the gentleman who made the film. Guys, thanks for talking to me. Um, so who came up with this idea? Where did, where did it come from? Um, so I kind of thought of it. We were discussing the project, and uh, it just kind of came into my head. And then we all just collaborated on writing the rest of the ideas. One of the most impressive sequences in the movie to me was, you know, when sort of time is frozen and, and the main character runs back and forth. How, how did you guys make that happen? Uh, we had to come in after school and uh, set up in a quiet hallway where we couldn't touch the camera so that all of the frames just didn't change. And it was, we had to do it a couple times. Yeah. How, how long did it take to, to get that done? 30, four, an hour maybe? About, About an hour. hour. Yeah. And how many takes? Four. Four, and it was just one continuous shot, so. Obviously telling a story without dialogue is pretty difficult. How did you, how'd you guys manage to actually you know, you have to tell a story without giving the audience anything except your physical gestures. How, how did that, well, since you were the actor, let's ask you. Um, it was mainly just using props, pulling uh, like a phone out, uh, having a date on it saying um, paper due at nine o'clock, having a timeout, having a flash drive. Uh, so you are, you're the prop man? Yeah. So how did you, you know, pull off what, what he was just talking about there? We had... Uh, all sorts of things behind camera, you know. There is this one time that we just had, well, he was running through different doors 
we had Preston behind the camera just like, go over here, go over here. And uh, I don't know, it was pretty difficult. All right, guys, well, thanks for talking to me. I really appreciate it, and congratulations on your movie. All right, well, we're going to go to our next movie now. It comes from Geyser Middle School. It's called Why You Should Try in School. Hello, my name is Albert, and I'm here to tell you why you should try in school. I mean, does it get you a vampire or boyfriend or something? Wait, Alfonso, why are you leaving me? Why do you think? Because you didn't try in school. She's sleeping. Are you convinced now? Or do you want to end up living in the trash? <sighs> Ooh, breakfast time! Ah! Uh... Thank you! <laughs> hey! Hey, you don't get none because you didn't try in school. But it, it's true. <laughs> How do you think MacGyver did in school? Do you think he tried? Take this open. Oh, let's just go see if the other doors are. It's locked. There's a bomb, it's about to explode. You die now. Dr. Stratosphere, we need to locate this bomb. It's an urgent emergency. Dr. Stratosphere. Did you see any type of bomb? Anything that said bomb? Anything that looked like bomb to you? Is that it? Dr. Stratosphere. Yes. This is it. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Doctor, we have a problem. Doctor. What is it? This bomb can only be solved with the math problem. I'm sorry, I didn't try in school. I don't know how to do this. What? In breaking news, MacGyver and a hostage slash civilian were killed in a bomb explosion after MacGyver couldn't solve a simple math problem. Stay in school, kids. Sticking with middle schools, let's go now to Vancouver School of Arts and Academics where they're learning about documentaries. And since many documentary makers make movies about what they know, it makes sense that middle schoolers would do one about social networking. Let's take a look. I use Facebook a lot. Facebook because I like it. Newgrounds.com. MySpace. I hate all social networking sites. Wait, who's Over time, I've changed my disliking of social networking, I used to think that it was stupid, but then more people in my age level started to use social networking, so I kind of adapted for that thing. Um, I have over time because when I was like younger, I wanted to be like all the older kids and have like MySpace, and then I wanted to use Facebook to see how it was, and didn't end up good. Um, Facebook like changes a lot, so it's kind of stupid, but whatever. I once used MySpace and I use Facebook. Um, I don't really like MySpace, it's just hard. And on Facebook you can like use apps and um, message, well you can message people on MySpace too, but I don't know, it seems more efficient. Mm -hmm. I think it's weird how many younger students, like even elementary school mm -hmm. students have social networking sets and I don't think it's that good of an idea and it's not very safe. Well, see, I personally am fine with it. Like, I don't really care. I mean, I've had a Newgrounds account. I think you're supposed to be 16, 17 to have one. I've had one since I was like 10. 
so it that really doesn't matter to me, but I can understand like if it was a first or second grader, like that seems a little bit young, but if the parents are all right with it, then it hasn't changed the way I've really talked to my friends, social networking. Um, it has changed the way I contact my distant fam relatives, though. Like, uh, my family in Missouri and in Chicago, I've been able to kind of chat with them before. So that's been kind of cool. Yeah, because some of my family lives far away, and I don't have my phone number, so I just talk to my Um, I guess it kind of has, like, a different, a different effect, because I can, like, find people that I've known before and then I haven't talked to in a while, so that's kind of cool. But then other people can, like, stalk you, or, like, weird people can find you and be your friend, so. In my house, there aren't really strict limitations. Like, my parents have my passwords and my logins, but I can put my full name and put my picture up. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. No, I can't put up like my real age or where I live <laughs> or my phone number. Um, just not my real birthday. Um, I'm allowed to as long as it's not like super personal, like information, like your phone number or like address. Or Finally, a really interesting visual display from animation students at Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. They were told simply to animate one character named the Doughboy. So what we've done is we've taken all their clips, put them together, and set them to music. Enjoy! That's all the time we have for now. I want to say congratulations to all the young filmmakers for their outstanding work. I'm your host, Nick Vole, and I'll see you next time.